Hello YouTube world and welcome to Terry's Quick Beer Review. Now today's beer review, oh, before I get onto the beer review, I was checking through my uh, QS IPA the other day, uh, you know, looking at it with other, against others, and uh, every other uh, QS IPA was 5.7% ABV, and mine was 4.4%. I thought, oh, I'll bugger that out somehow, but uh, when I checked it again, it, it actually is 4.4%. I mean, that's a big old drop, isn't it? 5.7% to 4.4%. What the hell's going on there? I mean, blimey, that's got to change the flavour, isn't it? What's all that about? Well, you know, next time you get a curious IPA, have a look at the ABV. It used to be 5.7%. 4.4. There we go. Anyway, next beer. <laughs> Moving swiftly on. Uh, is uh, Exmoor's Beast. Strong Owl. Nice little label on there, but... Uh, you see that there, look? There's a bat there. Look at that size of that house. See? A bat is more like a bloody pterodactyl, isn't it? Look at it. 6.6%. <laughs> right, get my glasses on. Have a little read at the back. Ooh. A superb award winning. Ooh. Doesn't say what it is award winning, though. No? Don't know what it's won. A superb award winning beer with the characteristics of strong old English porter. A truly dark ale which starts with a full bodied, smoothly distinctive flavour and finishes with a complex, long aftertaste. Ooh, there we go. X Moore's Beast. Alright, let's get the top off. Oh, eventually got there. Just a plain cap. In the glass. Bit of smoke on there, that's lovely jubbly. I might see that. Well, it's well and truly gassy. Very off white head there. Very dark mahogany. Lots of life in that. Lots of life. Look at that. Take this glass. Lots of malt in that. Take the glasses off. You can see me properly. The malt's and the dark fruit. Hmm. Anyway. Cheers, everyone. Yeah, I've definitely got a lot of maltiness in it. Actually, it does remind me a little bit of a, like a winter warmer. Does that? It's got uh, a n nice big hit of maltiness, and it has a caramel sweetness to it when you initially taste it. Definitely hint of chocolate, a little nuttiness to it. It's not as bitter as I thought it would be. It's got that little slightly dry bitter finish, but it's not in your face sort of like that. It's a little bit too gassy for my liking, but it's not. I mean, the flavours are all there. Yeah, some, the aroma is all right. I mean, that does have a nice. That's quite a nice aroma to it. That's not bad actually. You know, for 6.6%, .6%, you can't really taste the alcohol in it. That's quite good. I don't mind that. And uh, it does say on the bottle about a uh, long aftertaste. It does actually leave that, that maltiness on your tongue. Keep doing that all the time. <laughs> That's not nice. That's all right. I like that. Not bad at all. There you go. X Moore's Beast. Yeah, I like that. Nice. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next week for another Terry's Quick Beer Review. See you later, guys.